if you have heard the gospel and then you come into the kingdom you become like Christ he gives you the might of Christ he gives you the passion of Christ he gives you the desire of Christ like somebody told you and you were saved like somebody preached to you and you became born again like somebody passionately spoke to you and then you considered it and you saw the judgment to come and you wanted to escape the judgment to come like other people did that and they kept on saying and they kept on preaching and they kept on emphasizing until you came so you want to do it to other people too you want to become selfless not thinking I am tired now not thinking I am weak now not thinking I need to have this for myself first not thinking I need more joy I need more blessing I need this I need that to just push everything aside you become selfless as a saved man as a saved woman because of the grace of God that has come to you look at 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verse 15 and that he died for all that they which live now you come alive in Christ you live in Christ and you live by the grace of God that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves my job my career my success my blessing my this my that we should not live to ourselves anymore that every time you know we come we're always praying for ourselves we're always desiring something we've got this we want to get more we've got an opportunity we want to get more we've got blessing we want to get more that we should not live unto ourselves anymore but unto him which died for them and rose again he calls source to a selfless life it calls us to a life that will not be thinking of ourselves anymore we're thinking of the people that Jesus died for in Romans chapter 14 reading from verse 7 it says for none of us liveth to himself none of us liveth unto himself can you consider the prayers you always pray as a worker do you remember those in the house fellowship? Do you remember those of your relatives who are not born again? Do you remember their spiritual need? Do you remember that they need to be saved? Do you remember the children? Do you remember the young people? Do you remember the people that are just uh, wasting their lives in the wilderness of sin? Or is it only me, me, me? Every time I've got this, I need this one again. I've got that blessing, I need this one again. It says, for none of us live eh, to himself and no man dieth unto himself because we're God's servants because we're God's property because we are here only to do his will the one who has called us we're not thinking of ourselves I need this I need that we are the Lord Matthew chapter 20 verse 28 even as the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. To give his life a ransom for many. That's what we do too. We now give our life, we give our time, we give our skill, we give our ability, we give early money, we rise up, we're preaching the gospel. Late in the night in our community, we're preaching the gospel. You've seen the gadgets we have, we're preaching the gospel, pointing people to where they can access the message of salvation we're preaching the gospel helping people to think about eternity and refocus their mind on eternity every time we're preaching the gospel for the people who are thoughtless and they're not thinking you know, of what happens after they leave this world we're jolting them we're jerking them up and we're reminding them there is an eternity after our time here on earth and every time we have we're giving them the word of God and we're not waiting for somebody to you know do this for me and do that for me like Jesus Christ gave his life a ransom for many we're doing the same thing as well he tells us in Philippians chapter 2 I'm reading from verse 4 look not every man 
on his own things look not every man on his own things now that we're saved now that we're children of god we've got salvation the best of blessings we can get and we've got the ticket to heaven the redemption of our soul we need to think about others all the other things we're looking for they're not as important as the salvation of the people look not every man on his own things but every man on also on the things of others in verse 5 it says let this might be in you which was also in Christ Jesus the might he had that he will give his blood he will give his life he will give everything for the salvation of the world have that same mind in you let's rise up now and talk to the lord in prayer that we will preach the word of god without any fear that that same love will fill our hearts and we'll go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature as he has commanded let's thank god for the church we have just received from our father in the lord which you are earlier received from our master and Lord Jesus Christ. Go ye into all the world and, and preach, preach the, the gospel, gospel to, to every, every creature. creature. Let's, Let's pray, pray for, for grace to be obedient to that charge. The grace to pay whatever price necessary to bring souls to the kingdom of God. Let's pray and ask for that grace. Let's talk to God in prayer. That this charge we do receive every Monday will not stand against us on the day of reckoning. But we will be obedient and do the will of God. Let's pray that self will not stand between us and fulfilling the great commission. Self-pity. Nobody knows what I'm going through. They are calling for evangelism, publicity, follow-up. Let's bring self-pity to the cross. Self-praise. I have done enough. I have tried. That's self-praise. Self-satisfaction. What is the child looking for again? See how many we are. Let's bring all that to the cross to be crucified. So we'll be useful in the hands of the Lord as tools for soul winning. Let's ask the Lord for grace. Let's pray that God that help all the apostle. He said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 22, to the weak became I as weak, that I am again the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. Let's pray that whatever it will cause to be soul winners, to bring souls to the kingdom of God, the Lord will give us the grace to pay that price. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for the global gospel campaign, the GCK, that will be going on now, bringing souls to the kingdom of God in their thousands. Let's pray that that vision will not be delayed will not be distracted and will not be destroyed by anything or any man until the purpose of that vision, the end gathering of souls all over the world come to actualization. Let's pray for the MENA edition in Niger State come 22nd to 27th of September that the Lord, the God of all possibilities, we make it possible for all sinners in the Alpha location and all over the locations 
to come to the saving knowledge of Christ. The Lord will do it if we pray. Let's ask in faith, believing. And I believe it is done in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the privilege of praying. Thank you for bringing our petition before you. Thank you for helping us to be involved in this great commission, in this gospel propagation. Give us the grace to become all things to all men that by all means we will save all men in Jesus' name. As our Father in the Lord, Tom, Niger State, Mina, for this edition of the GCK, I pray for the outpouring of your power to save sinners all over the world in Jesus' name. We thank you for the privilege of partaking in this gospel campaign. And we believe that at the end of life, none of us will see your face empty-handed None of us will be ashamed coming to see you, but we'll come with our souls to present before you in Jesus' name. As I bring the one next to me, and he bring the one next to him, in no time at all, we will win them all. Thank you, Lord, for the answer to our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.